Welcome to University of Chimera Stadium in steamy Tombstone, Arizona, where the only thing hotter than the heat is the ceaseless sinning. The players are ready to rock the red zone and red light district tonight. Let's go down to the field for kickoff. Pain, suffering, humiliation, and possibly a conga line. This game's going to have it all. The Philadelphia Eagles go up against the Cardinal Sins. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hey, man, you see that? That's right, you can't handle this. You can't handle what I got. Yeah, get the hell out of here, man. It's time to tune in, turn on, and drop what you're doing because MFL game day is on the air. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. So what's the game plan for the home team today, Bricks? Uh, I think they got to keep it simple. A little cough syrup, maybe smoke a little untidy pod pregame so they can keep their heads in the game. I mean, literally. You don't want to get decapitated on the opening kickoff. I say go after the refs early and often. No mercy. That's a vicious hit, and the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant meat. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. Second down in a very lot. And like a monkey trying to fuck a grease football, he gets away and he did it! He scores! And with that amazing run, he bursts through the end zone for six. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The teams are lined up for the kickoffs. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. First and ten. Man, what a hit that was. Second down and long. Through the defense on oh man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. Well, the ref didn't see it. At least the mortician did. He's coming out on the field now. Third and two. First down, so now they have to punt. And he put all of his foot into that one. The return man catches the ball and heads upfield. Oh, what a great defensive play. Oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently, they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon Raby blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. And it's first and ten. I ate a piece of licorice 
once and got a shot like that. It wasn't licorice, you idiot. It was a frayed cord to the leaf blower. Well, it was a red cord and it looked like licorice. But the point is... Ah, I forgot my point. He's at the 10. He scores! He earned those points on the heels of an epic. The coach isn't liking that call. Oh, his head just exploded. And it's first and goal. Defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. And it's first and ten. Second down and two. When defensive players go berserk, they've been known to rip the heads off of enemy players. Third down and five. And he stayed with the receiver and deflected the ball. It's not short, but this one shouldn't give the kicker any trouble. Unless he collapses on the pressure and never makes another kick again. Hmm. That's well, it surprised me. He made it look easy and he gets three points for it. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! First and ten. Hey, kids, do you remember getting shoved in a locker because you wore glasses? I do. Join the MFL and try Roid Rage and have your revenge. No doubt about it, that guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. And he's off to the races. Look at that little... Oh, man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Uh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? And it's first and ten. And they run it for a couple of yards. And that'll be second and eight to go. He broke free and has open field in front of him. They're going for two. Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to bite it. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. And it's first and ten. He's 
cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. And that'll bring up second and one. Hey, you see that move, baby? No, you didn't. You know why? I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> Third down and five. The defender says, I don't think so. And out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. And he's got a chance for a good return here. Put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. And it's first and ten. That's a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. Second down and a lot. That's the end of the first quarter, and it's still anyone's game. Second down and more than the QB would like. What is this, Annie's wrestling? Third down and, well, good luck. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. Boom, dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic. A terrible father, and oh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? First and eight to go. It's a six-yard game. Second down and two. a risky throw and the defense made him pay. And that mutant just about met his maker on that hit. I thought he was made in China. Uh, I don't see any Chinese guys down there. You're a fucking moron. And it's first and ten. First and ten. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Uh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. And the defense scrummed it out and came up with the ball. Boom, dead and down. He just sent a message with that hit. Yeah. Oh, and you can barely See what number he was? I gotta check it off my Dead Mutant bingo card. I only need one more! And it's first and ten. stepped up and blew up. <laughs> He's got a lot of guts, doesn't he? And you can see the ground crew cleaning him up now. Hot potato gets him every time. 
And it's first and ten. Not much there, maybe a yard. Second down and nine. Extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Straight through the uprights. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck off. That was just a one time thing. First and ten. He hit that line the way of a oh man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore grin. First and ten. That's a nice gain of about seven yards on that run. Second and three. Boom to the moon. Another loser fights the dust. In the NFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Wow. With the vicious kill. Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schwong Galaxy phone. And it's first and ten. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double-stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. First and ten. And he punched his way out of that. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. Oh, great tackle! When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about the offenses down to their last running back. No rest for the weary. The last runner has to suck it up and hopefully not die. And it's first and ten. Oh, and he might have just saved a touchdown on that deflection. Second down and ten. Man, you think you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? You get my grill, I'll ruin your world. Ruin it. And here comes the extra point. 
attempt. The kick is good. Yeah, as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. suck. They don't even deliver any fantasy points. And it's first and ten. Offense calls a timeout. This is why you save your timeouts. So you can use them in the two-minute warning. Now I get it. Makes sense, Grim. Second down and long. When I've had it. I'm running out of excuses for this QB. You just, you just throw it to the guy in the same color. He just put that guy out of his misery and says, "Who's next?" Bam! Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Uh, you're an idiot. The offense is running low on quarterbacks. They have only two left. You might consider running the ball more. And the offense goes into a hurry up to pick up the pace of the game. Force meets the explodable object. And he finds open spaces running toward the end zone. Turn on your jet, you son of a bitch. And the NFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8. The greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Well. No doubt about it, that guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. The 20. The 10. Holy mother of mutant mayhem, he scored! The offense is down to their last surviving lineman. He's all alone out there, and when he dies, they'll have to forfeit. I know what it's like to be alone. I went to group therapy once to deal with loneliness, but no one else showed up. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It's good. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the Halftime Show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Frankenfood you'll have fun trying to identify. The teams line up for the kickoff to start the second half. These guys will have to play a lot harder to make it a game. Well, either that or kill and cheat more. Hey, man, nobody can touch me with an eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about? Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh. I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. And it's first to ten. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. And it's first and ten. And that's a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it.
First down and nine. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. And he just nailed him right on the numbers for a touchdown. See that move, baby? I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see it because I'm too fast. <laughs> They want more points, so they're going for two. <laughs> when you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Yeah, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. First and ten. I think the defenders are scared of this guy, Bricks, and they have every. Oh. <laughs> he did not see that coming, partner. Yeah, now the ground crew's gotta come out and pick him up. This guy really kills the momentum. And it's first and ten. First down with a nice piece of running there. And it's first and ten. And he was stuck to him like glue. Second down and ten. down and long and there's another pick man this quarterback must have learned a now the offense is getting kills this is really a violent game guys oh mama just call him cap and crunch another one bites the dust the offense lost another quarterback on the previous play and have only two left before they have to forfeit yeah but on the bright side man they save a ton of money by not having to pay those guys anymore. I don't think the funeral expenses that is. And it's first and ten. And that's how you shock the monkey. Thunderclap. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. They're gaining on him. Hey, come on, move your ass. He's at the 10! Touchdown! The offense is down to their last quarterback. If they lose him, they lose the game. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim! Straight through the uprights. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. the ball on that one. Second down and ten. Does the QB know which team he's on? I don't even know where I'm at. Boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast ham sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches. Oh, holy smokes. He just killed that player with a cheap shot. 
That's why we love the MFL. And it's first and ten. Four yards on that one. And he was just starting to pick up some. Oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently, they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon Ravy blood is my thought. Oh, the players. The Cardinal Sins get crushed and lose by forfeit. Someone get more body bags. They battled hard, but didn't have enough to get it done. They choked like a bunch of banana choking chimp chunks choking on a bag of chimp dicks. Did you just say choking on a bag of chimp dicks? Yeah. God, that was beautiful. Grim <laughs> Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.